guys, it is K8 Citra here, and I'm bringing you guys with some potentially exciting news for you guys. So yeah, why don't we just get into it? So the Square Enix France Facebook page has been making some, to say the least, interesting posts on their page, and they have to do with Kingdom Hearts 3. They have two posts about it on their Facebook page, and the first one features a render that we got all the way back in 2013 when the game was first announced, so you've probably all seen it by now. Um, and that render's probably way outdated now because they switched over to the Unreal 4 engine a while ago. And, yeah, that's probably not what the game looks like at all now. So, yeah, that's probably not what they're going to look like in the game. Um, but anyways, the post said, uh, Dora, Donald, Goofy, and Sora, what is your best memory of the series? What is your level of expectation regarding the very next Kingdom Hearts 3? Well, I didn't know there was a first Kingdom Hearts 3, so hey, that's awesome, right? Um, but anyways, that's just a translation error. I'm guessing what they're trying to say is, what is your level of expectations for Kingdom Hearts 3? The second post is a bit more interesting. Um, in this, it says, relive the magic of Kingdom Hearts, hashtag Kingdom Hearts 3. And in the post, it uh, features the Kingdom Hearts HD 2.5 remix launch event trailer, where um, they show the people who went to the uh, launch event for 2.5 and got to see the new Kingdom Hearts 3 trailer and me being so jealous of it. And a lot of people are saying that this could be hinting at some future announcements of Kingdom Hearts 3 and maybe 2.5 Remix. Now, why are people saying this? Well, three reasons. Um, one, E3 is literally just around the corner. I mean, like, in three weeks. We are less than a month away, guys. I mean, I'm getting so excited. Um, this year's E3 is probably going to be hype. Um... But e since E3 is just around the corner and they're talking about one of their most hyped games, yeah, that probably hint at something. Two, it's on a foreign Square Enix page. And if you guys don't recall with Kingdom Hearts Unchained Key, um, there was a post made on Square Enix Germany's page um, literally like a couple hours before Kingdom Hearts Unchained Key was announced and it had something to do with uh, Kingdom Hearts Key. And then everyone started speculating and all that stuff. And hours later, we got Kingdom Hearts Unchained Key. So, since this is being posted on a foreign uh, Square Enix Facebook page, it's making people assume that, yeah, this could be something cool. But thirdly, and what I find the uh, biggest indicator of something big coming out of this, um, is they did something similar to this last year. Um, you guys probably all know about Final Fantasy Type-0 HD, released on PS4, Xbox One, and it had the Final Fantasy 15 demo included in it, so yeah, you probably all know about that. Um, but Square Enix France, right before E3, where the game was announced, they were teasing stuff about Final Fantasy Type-0, and they were making a lot of posts, made a, a lot of curious posts about the game. So yeah, since they did something similar to this, it would make sense that they would do it again this year for something else. So with all that stuff combined, a lot of people are saying that this is hinting to some big announcements that are going to be happening for Kingdom Hearts 3 at E3, and maybe, just maybe, even an announcement of the Kingdom Hearts HD Remix is being ported to PS4 and Xbox One. I know. I know. I know. I know. I'll explain later. But moving on from that, um, do I think this is hinting at something? Yes. I do think it is. Since all that stuff combined, it's pointing heavily that something is going to be announced at E3. Um, so, yeah. They did this before with Final Fantasy Top Zero HD, so it makes sense they do it with this. Um, and since Square Enix is holding their own press conference this year, their own freaking press conference, it would, you would assume that a lot of big announcements about their games are going to come out there. Um, and I think they already said Final Fantasy XV is not going to be there. I can't exactly remember, but I think that's what they said. Um, so they're going to be focusing on some other big games. And since we get some Kingdom Hearts 3 stuff in here... That's pointing heavily to, we're going to get some big announcements about Kingdom Hearts 3 at E3. So, yeah, E3 may be one of the best times for Kingdom Hearts fans. And, again, they're on their own press conference. They gotta show something. Um, maybe they'll show that trailer that they showed in that 2.5 launch event trailer. I mean, come on. That was the biggest cock tease ever. They even showed the reflection in the glasses. That is just a bunch of fucking bullshit. Um, in my opinion, at least. Um... But anyways, uh, I hope something comes out of this. I really, really do. And since something similar to this happened twice with uh, Kingdom Hearts Engine Key and Type-0, it would make sense. But Kingdom Hearts 2.5 was also featured in there. Slightly, but it was also featured. But what's making me kind of doubt that is it's paired with the hashtag Kingdom Hearts 3. So I don't really know if they're trying to exactly hint at 2.5. And they're just showing something that relates to Kingdom Hearts 3. They, they showed the trailer and that thing. Um, 
But still, there could be some hope that Kingdom Hearts HD 2.5 Remix is going to be ported to PS4 and also 1.5. Don't forget 1.5. Um, so yeah, this may be hinting at a port of the HD Remixes to next gen. In fact, I think they need to release it on next gen. Why? Well, let me explain. Uh, if you don't know, the reasons the HD Remixes were made were to set up the story for Kingdom Hearts 3 for people who are not familiar with the Kingdom Hearts story. They can start off with the beginning, the origins of the thing, and then slowly build their way up and start getting the story before they go into Kingdom Hearts 3 if they have any trouble, you know? Um, and since Kingdom Hearts 3 is going to be releasing on next gen, not last gen, PS3, which that's the only console the HD Remixes have been on, I think you pretty much need to because probably a lot of people are going to be confused. I know a lot of hardcore fans are going to get it, but maybe a lot of people want to try out Kingdom Hearts, and maybe they don't know Kingdom Hearts 3 is the last game of the Zane North Saga, and they just want to try it out, you know? They don't know the story, and I don't think onla the online thing will help them either. So I think I would rather just them play the games and get the story that way, because I think that would be a much easier process. And I bet you guys are noticing that I keep on saying next gen instead of PS4, and... Why am I saying that? That is because that's exactly what I'm saying. I'm not saying PS4. I'm saying next gen. As in both PS4 and Xbox One. Now, I know I'm going to get people all over my ass for this. But I just got to say it here. I think it would be a stupid, stupid idea if they did not release the HD remixes on Xbox One. I think it would be a disastrous idea, in fact. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Before you press that dislike button or write that comment or whatever you're going to do, I would suggest just listening to what I have to say. Listen to why I think this, all right? I'll explain. So, Kingdom Hearts 3 is on both PS4 and Xbox One. It's not going to be released on just PS4. It's on Xbox One. I know you're still trying to get that fact out of your mind, but you eventually just got to face the fact that, yes, it's going to be on Xbox One. I know you're about to say, oh, it shouldn't be on Xbox One. Well, guess what it is? You can't change it. You're not Tetsuo anymore. You can't change his fucking mind. So, you just have, you have to grow up, face the fact that it's going to be on Xbox One. You can't change it at this point, all right? It's set in stone. And since not a single Kingdom Hearts game has been released on the Xbox platform at all, not at all, not once, um, none of the people on Xbox are going to understand the story. Well, not none, well, not a lot of Xbox people are going to understand the story of Kingdom Hearts 3. Which I see that as one negative of being in on the Xbox One, but I just see many other positives, and honestly, I just don't care. Um, so, yeah, you have to realize that a lot of people are going to be super, super confused when they get into the game. So, they're going to need that story to get them prepared for Kingdom Hearts 3. And because... It's absolutely essential that you know the story of those games to understand what's going on in Kingdom Hearts 3. And you have to be connected with the characters. You gotta be... You gotta know the characters, you know? Because it's going to be an emotional roller coaster for that. <laughs> and what just so happens to be created for that exact reason? The HD remixes. No fucking way! So, no shit it should be released on the Xbox One. No fucking shit. Okay? So, if they don't release it on Xbox One... They're making a stupid fucking decision. They make stupid decisions all the time, so I wouldn't doubt that they would. But I hope they're not stupid enough to realize that people on Xbox are not going to get the story. So they absolutely need to get those people on board. So that's why I think the Xbox uh, needs the HD remixes. Sorry I went on a little tangent there. Uh, I just uh, get really mad when I talk about that. Um, So yeah, don't get your hopes up too much for this, guys, okay? Don't get your hopes up too much. Because we may ultimately get disappointed. We have no idea if Kingdom Hearts 3 is going to be at E3 or not. We really have no fucking clue. This is ending at it, but we still have no fucking clue, okay? So I wouldn't get your hopes up too much that this is absolutely confirming that Kingdom Hearts 3 is going to be there. But, you know, always still hope, because without hope, things are really just sad. And I don't want things to- I don't want hope to go away, alright? So keep hope alive, but just don't get your hopes up too much for this, okay? Um, but it would be awesome if it is. So, yeah, just keep holding the Honda Hope, but don't hope too much. Yeah, this video is getting ten times longer than I thought it would be, so I'm just going to end it here. Um, so make sure I down in the comments below your opinion on this news. What do you think about this? Do you think it is actually hinting towards some sort of announcement at E3? Some sort of 
reveal trailer or something at E3. Make sure I down the comments below your opinion. And also, what is your opinion on uh, the HD remixes being on Xbox One? Now, I think I'm over-exaggerating the controversialness, or whatever, it's, however you would say it, of that statement, but I still think it would be a controversial statement. So yeah, make sure I down in the comments below your opinion. Also, make sure to subscribe. My goal is to have 5,000 subscribers, so if you want to reset goal, make sure to subscribe. This has been K, Central Your. No one plays for the Kingdom Hearts, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.